Hi guys and welcome to the first video for quite a few years. I know I uploaded the update video a few weeks ago, but uh, here's the first proper video. Now, I read online recently that Baofeng UV5Rs can't transmit out of band anymore. So I thought, well, got to give that a go. And luckily a friend of mine messaged me and said, hey, I need another UV5R. So I said, cool, order one up, have it delivered. So I've charged it up and yeah, you can't even type it in anymore, won't let you. So if we get the radio and type four, four, zero, oh. zero, zero, cancel. Try that again. Four, four, six, zero, zero, cancel. See, it doesn't let you. Or oh, let's go. One, six, five, zero, zero, cancel. Now, I read online that you can do a button combination while turning it on to get it into uh, wideband mode. I've tried that, but that appears to be patched. So someone else has said, try the UV5R software from Bofeng. And someone else has said, no, that won't work. Use Chirp. So I've got both loaded up on the, uh, on the test laptop here. I apologize for the glare. <laughs> But yeah, let's uh, plug it in and see what happens. Right, so I've got the programming lead plugged in. I've got this, um, I can't even read that upside down, Wake Snow. Uh, it's a multi-USB um, programming cable for various radios, which I ordered online a little while ago. So I've got that one plugged in. Now, I don't know if you'll be able to see this from the glare. No, hang on a sec. Right, that's a bit better. So, I've got these two frequencies to go in. That's PMR channel 1, and I think that's channel 7 or 8 of the VHF UK light frequencies, whatever they're called. I can't remember offhand, but uh, yeah. Now, we write these to the radio. Let's see what it does. And... There's a radio. Some of you may be wondering why I'm still using Windows XP, but uh, I found that uh, XP works best with most, if not all, of the programming softwares that I use. So there you go. Right, now that's done. Cool, so we've got the two channels programmed in. Let me just remove the programming lead. So we're on PMR channel one. And if we go over to the bench frequency counter. Oh, hello. Right, let's try that again. The counter had a bit of a funny fit, so as you can see, 446006, boom, there you go, that's worked, ah. you what mate, okay, and is the VHF channel we programmed in, there we go, so there is another option which I'll show you in just a second because some people say that the factory software works some people say it doesn't so I'm going to show you method B in just a sec right so we've now got chirp on the go as you can see there's the two frequencies that we programmed in now if we go into settings and in other settings you'll see You've got the minimum and maximum frequency there. How this radio is actually transmitting out of band just with the factory software, I don't know. But like I said, some people say that um, using the factory software works. Some people say you have to do this in Chirp. Now, if I just unplug the cable. Now... There we go, there's 
the channels we've programmed in. Frequency mode. Can we still type in, or can we type in? Four, four, six, zero, zero, cancel. So we can't type in anything out of band uh, on the keypad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this and rewrite it to the radio and let's see if I can then type in out of band frequencies with a keypad. I shall return. Right, as you can see, I've changed it to 136 to 174 and 400 to 470. I've just programmed it up to the radio, so if I just unplug the USB cable. So... Let's have a look, where are we? There we go. Six, five, zero, zero, zero. Okay, so it's let us type in a VHF frequency. Let's try UHF. Four, four, six, zero, zero, six. There we go. We can now type it in on the keypad as well. Let's just see if it works on VFO mode. And there we go. And if we just go to the VHF. There we go. Sorted. So that's what you have to do in order to get uh, a new UV5R to transmit out of band. Um, you can just use the Chirp software. I've always used the manufacturer software. Always have, don't know why. I'm starting to warm up to uh, Chirp now though, now that I've found it's got uh, all these extra features. So well, thank you very much for watching. I'll say best 7-3 and uh, well, we'll catch you in the next one.